Now, we had another question that came in this week I thought was really interesting as well. I want to read it to you. It says, do you have any steps or processes for inside sales reps to capture sales that are slipping through the cracks from the comfort advisor and the technicians? It's a great question, and basically we call this no sales. You have to have some process to kind of recapture uh, the, the sales that your people out in the field do not get. One of the things that I strongly believe is that our, that our comfort consultants, when they walk out of, out of a house, in most cases, that deal's pretty much done one way or the other. But there's nothing stopping someone in your office from having a, a quick no-sale conversation with your homeowners. All they have to do is a day or two later, call those homeowners up, and they can do it under the pretense of kind of a, you know, j just a, you know, a quality check. Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner just wanted to touch base and see how everything went with, you know, with, with Joe Contractor when he came out, that you had a good experience. And in many cases, you're just acting as though you're getting feedback. And actually, you are getting feedback because you'll get a lot of insight into what your salespeople are doing in the house when you have these conversations. But at some point in the conversation, the, the no-sale person, the person from your office having that phone call, can say, you know, as it happens, that we just had uh, an installation date open up tomorrow. Now, I know you told Joe that you weren't ready to make a, a move right now, but if you were able to take that slot, we could offer you an additional incentive to go ahead and take it. And you'd offer some kind of discount, whatever that discount is. Now, the reality is, if you're going to have a no-sale process like this, you're going to have to have a little bit of a different pricing structure for that person than the comfort consultants. Now, sometimes your comfort consultants won't like this. Why can they offer discounts the consultant can't? Uh, and you just have to explain it's just for the good of the company. Because the deals that you get on those no-sale phone calls are going to be really skinny deals, right? And let's face it, during the summer, when you're selling at very high margins, you're not going to be offering these discounts. But there may be times in the spring or in the fall when things are slow that you're willing to take a deal for a thousand bucks less that you wouldn't take in the summertime. And you'll take that deal just to keep your installation guys busy. So you just got to explain that, that this is something that's, that's you know, for the good of the entire company. And that sometimes the no-sale people, they have to have additional discounts uh, to offer installation slots, but maybe that the comfort advisors didn't have. So it's a great question, but always follow up on these. Have someone in your office follow up, offer some different incentives, do it under the guise of a quality call inspection type of thing, just kind of a check-in. You'll learn a lot about what's going on with your salespeople in the house, and you'll pick up a few deals here and there. Uh, at, at smaller margins, thinner margins, but sometimes it's better than nothing. The bottom line is, is you're going to do this when it's slow. There's no point in doing this in the peak of summer when you're selling at full margin. Keep that in mind. Always make sure you're capitalizing on every sales opportunity.